Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here in Transport Fever 2, sat outside, just overlooking the Down End Freight Station and the associated um, road di distribution. I think this one is called, yes, I've, I've, it's highlighted there, isn't it? The Down End Distribution Centre is what this truck stop is called. Uh, but the station itself is uh, is not a residential building. It's called simply Down End. And as you can see, very little is happening because, my dear friends, I have... Oh, there's a train arriving. Oh, I have a very embarrassing confession to make. Yes, I do, I'm afraid. You may remember at the end of the last episode, we had put some really funky new diesel trains, like that one, for example, on this line bringing goods all the way up if I highlight the line so it's slightly easier to see amongst this uh, mass of development bringing goods up all the way from Avonmouth Dockside oh, it's all the way over here yeah bricks and tools was well, actually is that bricks and machines uh, machines isn't it yes bricks and machines coming up there from Avonmouth delivering into Westbury and then onwards into Down End. Now at the end of the last episode I discovered that absolutely no goods whatsoever were being delivered to Down End and I had thought that that might be because I had put into Westbury yep I had connected in this Southmead uh, lorry stop here this uh, truck stop here uh, to deliver s spare goods from the Westbury train station uh, into Southmead here as well. I thought that had taken all the demand away so that it was, the game found it easier and cheaper to get goods into Westbury and Southmead rather than carrying on to Down End. So, and this, this is part two of my em embarrassing admission. This is actually the third time I have attempted to record this episode. Now, the first time I attempted to fix this, I built some stone quarries and some construction materials plants out here around Yate to feed into Down End, thinking, oh, they'll be closer, they will feed in. And they didn't. Absolutely nothing was delivered to Down End again. So I tried a second route. Uh, I tried splitting it up. I tried a couple of uh, changes to this. I moved the... Uh, construction materials plant much closer to down end and that still didn't work it was only then in my frustration I thought there must be something wrong going on here and there was it was a very simple mistake that I had made when I was enhancing down end station here now if you see that yeah everything is connected what I had done in the in some previous episode probably the last one I don't want to delete that I want to configure this so I can show you what happened is if I take away say that one there what I'd done is I'd put on one of these lovely little sort of uh, modded uh, buildings I'm just trying to replicate the mistake I made and of course the great thing is when you make a mistake you can never replicate it again when you're trying to demonstrate the problem the problem I had is that that building didn't actually connect to the train station and in my madness trying to extend this I hadn't taken care and noted that there were no connecting lines between the truck stop here and the train station so there was nowhere for the goods coming into the train station to go hence obviously nothing came up this way so having fixed that I think we should be able to now fix this uh, and get goods into down end we're still going to need more to be honest uh, I do have a little bit of lag in the distribution system so obviously the goods that are currently being produced will not be sent to down end uh, they'll need to come up in fact if we go down to Avonmouth can we check if anything down here is ready to go into down end is there anything actually waiting uh, what are you waiting for let's bring you into view you're going to Westbury on Trim, all 25 of you, you see. Uh, actually, no. Down End doesn't want machines anyway. I've lost Down End again. There it is. It wants tools. So that's okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be expecting those. Now, 
What I've decided then is that I'm going to attempt to repeat my first attempt to fix this by putting stone quarries around here. Because I've done a little bit of research and there are actually a number of quarries and indeed um, construction plants or aggregate plants, whatever you want to call them, dotted around the area around, Ray, around Yate, if I can pronounce it correctly. How can you not pronounce Yate correctly? <laughs> there are construction uh, plants, aggregate sites and so on around Yate and Shipping Sodry, which isn't actually in on this map. And also, uh, there's another quarry somewhere around Thornbury. Now, we do have a construction materials plant there, which is a bit far away. But you know what? I think we will keep it there. We will we will use that one. Definitely. Now, what I will do is I'll actually feed those into what will become more of a proper hub here, which unfortunately is linked into this well, which we're not using. And I think in all reality, uh, oil is some use for oil up here, but not by much. I think that well dries up, so we'll get rid of that. I do have the sandbox mode enabled, but I do not have no costs turned on. So, uh, so all this will cost me. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in a new industry. It's going to be a stone quarry. It's going to be up here, I think. Uh, if we put this around about here, yeah, I'm still tempted. <laughs> I'm still tempted to use the R key to rotate. Of course, I could change my key bindings, couldn't I, to do that? Uh, will that work there? Actually, we don't really want the road there. Okay, we're going to take that road away. I don't want the road going there as such. I think we take you away, and we can put our new industry. Up. Put us up here, and I think we're going to leave the road in as a connection, but we'll actually link it directly to a train station. So let's rotate that a little bit more. There you go. That's that's nice and cheap. Okay, so we've got that. So that'll be the Chipping Sodbury quarry, and there should be another one around Thornbury, which I think, according to my research, yep, is a Titherington quarry. So we'll put this up here. We've got coal as well up here. This kind of all makes sense, doesn't it? This this part of the, the landscape is obviously ripe for uh, for destruction, basically. <laughs> so if we spin you round... Uh, yeah, I think if we put you in here... That looks good, I think. Right, so we're going to be able to take stone into the construction materials plant there. We've got stone coming up here a much longer distance up there, and then we'll have a route back into our hub here. Right, so what have we got here? We don't need this road anymore, so we'll get rid of you. And can I put... Uh, I don't... Uh, that's a good question. I don't think I can put... Now, this is so annoying, isn't it? I can't put... Uh, I want platforms. Where are platforms? So if we go to the end here, we've got cargo platforms. Yeah, you can't put them on both sides of the buildings, <laughs> rather unfortunately. Uh, like if I actually put you there and there, we could... No, it looks a bit silly with the buildings there, doesn't it, to be honest. So, no, we'll take you away. We're not going to be using you. We'll do something else. We'll put more platforms here. Okay, so our other stations then. We are going to... The question is, do we want the stone to come straight from there into the Conmat plant? I'm thinking we probably will. Probably. Because so we could take it the short distance here. Then have trains going up to Conmat. 
it, oh, it's just a, it's a one for one. So it's uh, actually so. No, I think let's let's try it out. We'll see if uh, how this actually works in terms of actually uh, creating uh, a route, a feasible route. Oh, we've got so many choices here now. Fixed stations. Oh, what are they? Oh. I've been adding a few more stations <laughs> to my uh, to station mods to my game, um, and ooh, uh, and a fancy is that an elevated bridge station kind of thing? Oh, funky! Uh, no, let, let's let's stay simple for the moment. Otherwise, I will get horribly confused. I right, spin you around. Uh, you want to be two forty? Probably do. Uh, we are not tenerid. We will use high speed and tracks. We are, I think we only do want one, isn't it? So when you are going up there, you might as well go straight. As it were, just line you up to the quarry there. Uh, a little bit more like so. Does that work? I, I think that works quite nicely. Okay, cool. And here, where's the con map? Okay, we're going to need, I think, three platforms at least, aren't we? We're going to have two quarries coming in and one taking away the con mat. And this road is very much in the way. You can be dispensed with. So another station in here. You're going, you're going to be three tracks. I can put you in there. That looks quite good. Okay, that's excellent. And finally, where's our other quarry? Where's Titherington gone? I've lost it already. <laughs> ah, there you are. Shall I rename you actually while I'm here? Yeah, I, I think that's how Titherington is spelt. That's how I've written it down anyway. So hopefully that's right. So that's Titherington Quarry. We're going to need a station on there, which is the one platform. Now, the the, the trick with the this uh, this new setup is I have got plenty of other railway lines to contend with. So yeah, I think that should be good. Can we get a closer view on that? That looks fine. Okay, let's put some track down. Uh, catenary no, parallel tracks, we're going to say no for the time being. Okay, this one. This is a fast passenger route we're going to be crossing over. So, ooh, we are already actually up in the air here. That'll be good. So if I make you an embankment to there... Oh, this, this, this might work perfectly. So if I put you to there, and then keep you on the up. Well, you need to go up slightly, do you? Okay, let's put a, a proper bridge in there. Uh, which one should we use? So let's, uh, let's take this uh, all the way across. Uh, without snapping to the existing track. I think that looks about straight. Okay, but I want a different type of bridge. Not one of you, one of you. You look a bit old fashioned though, that's the trouble with you. You, you look, yeah, you, you look better, I think. You look a bit too imposing. I, quite, I do quite like these. But you only go 75 miles of, ah, I want high speed tracks, that's better. Yeah, if I select the right track, it, it works. <laughs> You'll do nicely, I think. Yeah. Oh, I need to change that to high speed track. That's fine. Uh, no, it does need to be going up, unfortunately. To there. OK. 
Okay, and then we'll bring you down to ground. Quicker than that, perhaps. It's got an embankment in there. That's fine. We'll need to smooth that out, to be honest. Right, where the heck are you going? Oh, you're going all the way around there. So... Yeah, that looks all right. Can we curve you into the station? Where's the station? The station's up there. And... Which one? We'll put you in the top one there, I think. That looks okay-ish. What we got here? A bit of a tunnel. Do I want a tunnel in there? It seems... Mm. I'd rather we didn't if we could avoid it. A bit of a cut. Let's try that. Let us try that. Uh, come around here. And an embankment. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That'll do very nicely. Make sure you're connected to the right track, which you are. That is splendid. Okay. Um, we may actually... Uh, that's, that's a nasty looking bit of curve, isn't it? Oh, let's fix it. Can we fix it? Who was it who said, yes, we can? Yes, I know. I guess I know you know. You know I know, too. <laughs> there you are. Right. Uh, well, that that will have to do. Okay. I think that will be all right. So that's that. That again, as I said, that might be only one train. If we need more than one, we will double track it. Okay. Now coming out of here. Uh, okay. This actually. Yeah. Let's double track this to start with from there. So we'll turn the parallel tracks thing on. And where the heck are we going? We're going all the way around there. So we want to cut across here. That's fine. I think. Yeah, that's, that's quite a nice curve, I think. We'll take that. Okay. Um, no, we won't. We won't take the road out because I don't. I don't think this builds over roads. This uh, what's that giving me? Oh, those barriers will be fine. Yeah, the parallel track mod doesn't build over roads. So okay, we'll take you along here. That's cool. We're doing a very nice speed. That's good. I'll just get you across the road. Again, simple barriers will be okay. And finally, we can bring you up to the station itself. Actually, no, let's uh, get them out here to start with. So I want you to come like so. And like so. So those will be my connecting points. So we're taking this road, this road, this rail even. Join you on to there. That's it. Uh, are we okay? I'm okay with a little bit of a tunnel. Yeah, we're okay with that. Are you going to build double track? No, you're not. Oh, because I told it not to. Ugh. Okay, so we have 
uh, our basic industry supply chain now. Stone coming from uh, Puckle Church. No, that will be, I think... I, I'm not... I think it is actually just called Chipping Sodbury Quarry in reality. So that's what I'll call it here, even though Chipping Sodbury doesn't appear on our map. The next trick, and this is the tricky bit, is getting this into Down End. And the slight problem we have here is that there's Down End Station. There's a train station. I don't particularly want to upset that. And this mess of roads. So what I'm planning to do here is to actually take this track for the freight route underneath all this roadworks and the station here if need be to get it round to the freight hub there. So let's see if we can actually do this then without it crashing again. So we can go here. Actually, if we go up this way, at what point are we... Oh, that I mean, it's very. It's going to be a very long tunnel anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this. So, yeah, there's no way around that. Ideally, I wouldn't. I'd want it to come through, kind of straight across these roads here. Too much slope. That's fine. Uh, actually, what I'll do if we take that little bit of road out there. Now, I think if I've set my controls right, C should turn off snapping. I think. I think that's how it works. But uh, let's see. Oh, that does appear to be much happier. If we're going, can we go up any further? That's as quickly as we can go up here. I think that, that should be okay. With any luck, we'll get enough of a curve then to get into the station. Right, let's try that. Get the other track along there as well. There you are. Okay, and finally, we can get, oof, uh, perhaps not that quickly, no it doesn't like that, okay we're going to have to get rid of uh, this little bit here as well, there you go, I'm sure the game will put that uh, road back if it wants it, uh, maybe not, <laughs> it's going to go over a track, okay, right so out, we join on here. I think that makes more sense than going up there. Yeah, let's, let's because it is a local service, so we'll connect here. Yeah. So if I got the right track selected there, I think. Yes, I'm sure I have. We'll connect you to there. And bring you all the way back again. And we're done. For this little part of the exercise. Excellent work. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, I may need to work on the roads again to be honest but we're not going to focus on those in this episode. That's looking good there. We want a crossover here of some description. Actually where's our line? Okay so you're going into that platform so if we're going into this platform over here, uh, we just want then a little bit of a, like, uh, we'll leave it a bit outside the station, just in case we need to make it even longer. Though I dare say that won't be long enough, but hey, we've got to start somewhere. So I'll put you there. And on this one, we might as well have a, a a di uh, um. Actually, how long is that station? Oh, are you, you are actually 240. Okay, no, I think I'm okay with 240. Yeah, that's fine. For some reason, it just looks a little bit shorter than that. That's just my dodgy eyesight, obviously. Yeah, I think if we put an actual diamond in here. So you never know what else we might have coming in and out of this station here. I'll put you over there, will you? Oh, you do. Yeah, I thought I had a feeling that I'd messed up the, uh, the switch point. Okay, that is cool. Uh, we're going to need, yep, yeah, going to need a switch out of here as well. Again, we'll, we'll put in a, a diamond, because you're never quite sure 
how many services we might have coming in to the station from this side and keep missing the switch. But then again, I don't. Okay, that looks fine. Let's put some signals on. There we go. Uh, it'll be one way, yes. Uh, auto signal, yes. Uh, every 440 meters, why not? Um, we will start from around about here. Well, that looks like quite a reasonable distance. Okay, and oh yes, that's very well. That's reasonably well placed, actually, <laughs> reasonably well placed. So we'll put you in there, and going out in the other direction. Let's get some routes set up, shall we? we want a new line. Uh, we'll use shades of... Actually, we'll use these really dark colours at the bottom here, shall we? So we'll take you from Chipping Sodbury... No, I'm going to have to change the name of that station to there. Again, that will need to change. Okay, and we will call you Chipping Sodbury Stone. And then we want another new line coming from Titherington Quarry here. Which of course isn't called that, but we will change that name. We'll give you that really dark purpley colour. You're going in there. Yeah, we've only put a single train, single line on that so far, but yeah, that's fine. We may again need to upgrade that. That will do. Titherington Stone. And then another new line from here. And you're going to be all oh, that really dark purple colour. Going from there to the freight hub. Yep, that's good. And you can be called, we'll call you Titherington Conmat. Right, and that's that done. And finally, we need to get Conmat from here. Uh, no, I need a new line. From there to down end. We'll put in a colour that I can actually see. That lovely dark blue. Oh, there's no signals on that line as yet. We'll put the signals in in a moment. I'll call you Down End Brick Bulk. That is cool. Now, the slight issue we've got here is that none of these stations are connected to a depot anywhere. Okay, we can get one into Down End. We can get one to the, that's to, where's Down End gone? I've lost it. We can get one in there, okay. Which will take on that line, but these other ones. And we do have depots around where are the depots? Ah, here are our depots. Okay, uh, so we can... Okay, yeah, we could actually. We've got trains coming up here. We could put in a... Well, actually, that might be quite good. We connect into the docks as well. Oh, yes, yes, that, that kind of makes sense. So we'll put in a bit of a track uh, going from here I want you to connect into this track here which then allows me to use that depot to supply trains to this entire industrial chain I think actually that's not strictly true but it will do uh, can we all oh, these roads are going to annoy me aren't they Get rid of you, and you. Let's do that again. Yeah, that's right. I'll just bring you in there. Oh, this is a big embankment. That's okay. What the heck are we colliding with? That road, for some reason. 
That's okay. We'll bring you... There you are. Into there. I think. We should be able to... Do something like that. Which, to say the least, is a little bit ropey. But, you know, needs must. So we'll make that a double slip so it can go in there. We are definitely going to need some signals on here. Uh, we'll put, yes, we'll put the spacing in. We will make them one way. If we need to get trains going back down to the dock side, then I'll put in a second track and do that from there. Okay, and we ought to have some signals along here actually as well. Oh, and that, that little bit of standard track needs to be replaced. Oh, no, they can't. Oh, no, they can't be one way. They've got to be two way. Can I replace you? Does this work? It does. I think that's the first time I've used that replace option. Oh, we've we've lost a <laughs> yeah, we've we've lost a signal there. That's okay. We'll put you back in. Oh, I want to replace that track, don't I? So tracks, uh, actually tools, isn't it? Upgrade. There you go. And that. Now, what we need to do then is find some consists to do this work for us. So where's my depot gone? Uh, there you are. You're all the way up here. Yeah, you'll definitely be able to do this. I'm fairly certain. So let's buy some vehicles. Some diesel locomotives. Uh, what we need, I think, is probably power. It's the most important thing. Speed isn't such a big deal. 80 will probably... Be, have I been using 58s or 56? I think I've been using 56s for the other routes, haven't I? So, you're quite good. But 90, to be honest, is, is a, would, would be quite good for the longer routes here back to Chipping Sodbury. You go 95. I quite like you actually. You're class 52. Okay let, let's see what we can put on here. So this is going which we we'll use the Western Glory for first time shall we? Okay, and the wagons are going to be for Stone. No, let's get the combat one out first. I think so. What? Uh, ca Ooh. so we are going at uh, ninety miles an hour. You carry combat, do you? Ooh, okay, you go seventy-five. You guys go hundred. 99 I'm mm. Oh you're oh you only carry 10 as opposed to 32. Oh you are that's true you're very large. I don't want anything with too large a capacity because we we might not be producing the amount of bricks to fill that up. I quite like you. You're only going 75 though, so this train is a bit overpowered. Okay, what was the other diesel we had? But uh, went to 80. Okay, let's let yeah, let's put a, a, a rail freight grey on there. That'll be good. Okay, so we'll take you away. You're more powerful. And you go a bit slower. Well, that's okay because we're we're not going that fast anyway because of our cargo. Uh, so we want um, no, I don't want iron ore. I want conmat. So we're going to use the OBA wagon carries 15, which is quite a nice capacity. Uh, we'll use the, the that one, I suppose. Oh, that, that's probably more than enough. It looks like a nice size there, doesn't it? So we will buy you. And 
of suspicion I won't be able to put you on that line. So this is going to be the down end brick bulk. Are you going to be able to find it? Actually, no, you're, that's no, ooh, no, I don't want you to go to that line. Uh, or do I? No, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, that is the wrong line. Uh, don't turn around. Ah, there, yes, it was the Titherington con map. That's where I want you to go. Yeah, you can do that. That is excellent. Yes, we can get the one, the down end brick bulk one, out of uh, another depot down near Avonmouth. That's fine. So we will send you off. Okay, and we'll buy another one of these, the same thing, but the wagons will be for stone. So what have we got here? Oh, these wagons carry stone as well. Oh, that's cool. Ah, but wouldn't a gondola be more appropriate? Okay, yeah, you carry... You carry 20. We could use you. I think you do look more appropriate for this, don't you? Um, not quite sure why. Have they got different lights on or something? So we'll put one of those at the front. We'll put... Um, so many in the centre. And then one at the rear. Okay. You cost me 23. Okay, we'll lose one of those. Uh, can I buy two of you? For 42. Oh, I'm running out of money already. Yikes. Uh, okay, we'll buy just one. That's fine. And I'll get some more loan. Right, we have more loan. So I'll buy another one of you. That's okay. Um... Yeah, that's, that's fine, I think. So we'll send you. You can go on the... Uh, you need to be on the Chipping Sodbury stone line. So we'll send you out. And then finally you can go on the Titherington stone line, which is the one nearest. Now hopefully they will actually come out of the depot in the right order. Right, so what we will do is I will wait for those to get into place and then we will get our train up and going to actually take the bricks into Down End. So I'll be with you again on the other side of this, um, this neat little video effect. See you in a second. And trains are reaching stations. I've got all four of the routes and the trains lined up here. Our first stone delivery is being picked up from the Titherington Quarry, or has just been picked up from the Titherington Quarry. And it's on its way to the Conmat plant. Uh, and our Conmat delivery route is coming back from... No, it's actually just heading into the freight hub. We'll be coming back shortly to pick up the Conmat that's produced there. Meanwhile, our second Conmat... Tra our second quarry train is about to pick up... Ooh, a nice load from Chipping Sobbery Quarry. Meanwhile... Our new bulk freight delivery service is about to come into down end. Uh, no, that's always got a long way to go yet, actually. Where's it, where's it go? Oh, this, the thing is, these routes around here are complicated. <laughs> There's lots of interweaving of passengers and freight lines. So, yeah, this one is about... There you go, if we follow you. Yeah, you're about to come into down end then head off into the hub here. I've set up uh, all the, the load instructions uh, there. Uh, actually, it's, it's most important. Ooh, we're in 1986. Lots more locomotives. And wagon. Oh, so much good stuff. Right, we'll see some of that, hopefully, in the next episode. Yeah, so what am I saying? What was I saying? I've really forgotten where I was going to. Uh, yeah, I've set the load instructions up on all of these. Uh, if we go into this one here, Titherington Stone, for example. Yeah, we've set it to wait for a full load at the quarry. 
and then only load and unload stone there. I have played this kind of setup forward previously. As I said, I've, this is my third attempt at getting this right. Um, and there was a lot of transfer of materials between stations, which I wasn't planning on. It was doing its own thing. So I've tried to circumvent that for the time being. But we'll see how the, the freight handling turns out. But this is doing quite well. So what we'll do, we'll focus on these two trains here. So here he is. Again, it's a lovely model of whatever locomotive that is. It does tell me, doesn't it? A 58 rail freight and the OBA wagons, was it? Whichever they were. I will smooth this out and this will make, I'll make this look a little bit nicer. Oh, we've got some Conmat here already. Just six. Yeah, you're working through it slowly. Once you realise there's demand, we should be up and away. So here he comes into the station, ready to pick up his first com mat for onward delivery to the Roscoe Frail Ra Rail Freight Hub North. Whatever it was I've called it. <laughs> here he is, coming in. Oh, your 240 length stations are more than enough. And there he is. For some reason, the com mat turns grey in these wagons, but I'm not going to argue. <laughs> it's, it's a lovely looking wagon anyway. So I think that will do it for this episode. And we, I've got a little bit more tinkering with this freight to do, to be honest. And I may do that in the next episode, or I may do it off camera and then just sort of let you know what I've done. But that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of transport fever 2 if you've enjoyed this it'll be lovely to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely even better though if you've got any ideas hints tips recommendations suggestions even criticisms of what we're doing it would be awesome to hear from you oh how much are you carrying a full 120 excellent uh yeah thank you so much again for joining me if you've got anything to say positive, negative, anything at all, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop it into the comments below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.